Hey, good afternoon. It is uh, June 16th, and this is a great find. This is actually in my backyard, and uh, it's a milkweed plant. I planted a bunch of seeds last year. I'm finally getting some to uh, just naturally come up in the spring. And as you should notice, that's exactly the reason why I plant milkweed, is for the monarch butterflies. And as you see, here's a caterpillar. Couple more there. And uh, I believe there's several others that I would imagine probably down below here. Uh, keep moving here. One time though there was uh, there was four of them. But like I said, it's June 16th, and these would be I consider like the first generation. So when the monarch butterflies leave Mexico early in the spring, uh, they'll those butterflies will lay the eggs in uh, northern Mexico and uh, southern United States. It takes about a month from egg to caterpillar. Those will hatch, fly up, and that's what the butterflies that you see in, in May, uh, those early ones, they're the ones that laid these eggs. So like I said, it's June 16th. These will be done a couple weeks, and then uh, they, those butterflies will lay the eggs, and uh, possibly even two generations, depending on the weather. And then eventually, after those two, those are the ones that go back to Minas uh, Mexico from Minnesota. And uh, that happens in October. So a lot of times what I do is I'll, I generally start collecting eggs at the end of July. And then I'll hatch those myself uh, just to make sure all the eggs hatch into caterpillars. And because uh, those are the ones that are going to eventually go back to Mexico. But yeah, this is kind of the first time. Uh, I've, I've had them in my yard and then I do have a plant in the backyard that has about four real real small ones so plant milkweed is the only plant that uh, monarch butterfly caterpillars eat so it's very very important as you can see they really really shred it up so all right if you have any questions leave them below and uh, please subscribe and make it a great day